Hi, it's uh, Jason McDonald here from OneTrack. I'm the product manager for Crush and Screening Product. And today we're here to talk about the Anaconda FTR150 feeder conveyor behind me that's fitted with a vibrating grid and 15 metre long stockpile conveyor. So this particular unit has been fitted with the vibrating grid, 125 mil Bofa bar on top and a 75 mil mesh on the bottom. So there is different sizes available, especially with the mesh. Uh, also an option for punch plate or mesh on the top as well. This is set up for a more heavy duty sort of screening arrangement at the moment. One of the beauties of these machines with the vibrating grid is we can still feed into the rear of the hopper uh, with a crusher or another conveyor bypassing the screen box and yet still feed it with an excavator or wheel loader for that heavy duty rock. So up to about 600 mil rock over these and down from there. Okay, so on this side here of the uh, engine bay, hydraulic tank, 375 litre capacity and uh, diesel tank, 160 litre capacity. Runs a JCB triple four diesel max engine, 63 kilowatts. Very good on fuel. Normally seen somewhere between about six and eight litres of fuel burn per hour at anything up to three, 400 tonne an hour plus over these machines. So a very fuel efficient engine um, and 63 kilowatts, so reasonably high power output compared to a lot of the opposition. On this side of the plant here, we've got the operator's panel with the warning lights for things like low oil, temperatures, low coolant levels as well. Control levers to raise and lower the conveyor and track controls and feeder and main conveyor control speeds. This machine's rated up to 700 tonne an hour with the dual drive motors on the main conveyor and same with the dual drive motors on the feeder. Uh, this particular unit though with the vibrating grid only has a single drive motor on the feeder still twin drive on the main conveyor, but because the vibrating feed is there, the plant's still capable of doing 700 tonne an hour, it just can't put 700 tonne out of the belt. It can process 700 because the oversize is going off the top of the grid. Um, it's also options on these, apart from the vibrating grid, you have hopper extensions, a flared extension and a straight extension. It takes the main capacity of the standard hopper from eight cubic metres to 10 cubic metres or 13 cubic metres respectively. Okay, so to fold this plant up, takes less than a minute. A couple of pins to pull out of the main conveyor there. Drop it down to level, fold this top section over, and it's folded up ready for transport. Uh, it takes, probably takes less than a minute to do that. And then for walking, got the umbil standard umbilical cord over here that plugs into the rear uh, to make the thing walk. So a very simple piece of kit to get onto site. And probably one of the advantages of these, they take up very little room width-wise on site. So for a narrow access block, or an area with not a lot of room for machinery to work around. This can be parked up against a wall and not take up a lot of room on site. Can also be used to load direct into trucks with a wheel load or excavator feeding the hopper and dropping straight into a truck with a, you know, anything up to four and a half, five metre high side without having to build a ramp for anything. So good safety feature as well. Okay, so these machines come standard with three e-stops, one on each side of the engine bay, one at the front, and an e-stop on the umbilical cord. We bring them in with basket guards as standard to comply with guarding. But if you require MDG 15 or mine spec guarding, they can be supplied fully guarded to the head drum with compliant guarding. Uh, we can also supply them with dual isolators, fire suppression, fire extinguishers, reflective stickers, whatever else is needed to comply with a particular site. And then down the back here, there's another e-stop and the plug for the umbilical to go in just here, and we also have the tail drum adjust to be able to track the feed belt and keep it running true and straight inside the hopper. That's the Anaconda FTR 150. Great versatile machine, multi-purpose, can be used as a, as a screen, as this one set up behind us is. Stockpiling machine for loading trucks and for uh, loading shipping containers as well. If you want more information, get in contact with OneTrack www.onetrack.com.au at, at our multiple locations all around the country.